What's up, Foundation? What y'all doing, man? Back again, man. Your big partner back again. Um, I, I was going to tell a story. But I'm, I'm still going to tell one. Not just not on this video, though. But later on, I told a couple of people about a story they want to hear. I was going to let them know. Um, but now this here is something a little different. <clears throat> I be telling a lot of my partners in YouTube how you, uh, how you get rid of a troll, how you get rid of a clown that got something to say about you. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you respond to them, they're going to keep coming back. They're going to keep on coming back. They're going to keep on wanting to talk. They're going to keep on wanting to go back and forth because they searching for subs. They searching for views. They searching for some attention. You know what I'm saying? So for those out there that might got a troll on them, just ignore them. Just ignore them. Um, it's a couple of dudes in the, in the last day that done said something. Pfft, man, I don't give a dang. I oh, could care less. You know what I'm saying? But uh, every now and then, I might give one person, you know what I'm saying, a shot at the title or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So now, this is about this this clown I seen, I seen today. I don't even want to say his name. If he see the video, he going to know I'm talking to him. Um, you know, they, they, he, he started out chiming in. Say he had an issue. He got, it seemed like he got an issue with me. Uh... Whack 100 and the dude Charleston White, you know what I'm saying, about what we had to say about T.I. Son. He might have had an issue about that. First off, I don't know about Whack 100. Um, I don't know about Charleston, but I can speak on me. So, speaking on me, first off, I don't give a god dang about your issues, fool. I don't care about how you feel about what I said out my mouth. Period. Not one iota. Do I care about what you feel or what you talking about straight up? So, you know what I'm saying? You can take that to the bank. You know what I'm saying? Uh, usually I won't, I won't start out with, with, with like disrespectful words or saying crazy stuff out my mouth, but this individual here, he opened the door off the bat. You know what I'm saying? Um, he said, uh, the dude with the eye piercings, a big goofy dude. Okay. So now, that let me know. That let me know right there what I'm dealing with. I'm dealing with a real life Mark. You know what I'm saying, dude, who don't know how to get his point across without letting his feelings and emotions get the best of him. Because when you get to the point to where you start calling uh, the other person's name, then you ain't talking about nothing to me. You feel what I'm saying? That same way, like I say, Ti son ugly. T. Okay, now Ti might feel, oh well, that fool cartoon ain't talking about nothing to me because I, you know, I opened up the door with that. So that's the same way with this clown. You know what I'm saying? When he opened up the door, said I was goofy or whatever, he ain't talking about spit to me. You know what I'm saying? Point blank, nothing. So now, you know, he going through a lot of rhetoric about uh, grown men saying this and saying that about uh, T.I. son. Uh, or to then went to talk about, uh, well, you know, when we were young and what we would have did. Let me show you something. It's, tw it's uh, 2022. When I was young, the stuff I was doing when I was young, when I was 18, 19, if social media would have been around then, the way it is now, I would have been talked about too. It just was a different era, a different time. So, you know, people don't understand that. Now, what's going on now is the world is this big because of social media. So anything you do and say, it's going to be talked about. Whether you a kid, whether you young, you know what I'm saying? So now, ain't no such thing as talk about this a kid, he ain't he a grown man. You know what I'm saying? So why he ain't a kid when he jumping up on the internet, running his mouth about all this crazy stuff he be doing all the time? You know, all that, all that these restaurants talking bad to the people who work there, talking about he abide and fire them, they going to work for him. All this so crazy stuff the little boy be doing. All that crazy stuff a little bit. Oh, it's just supposed to be looked over like it's all right. You know what I'm saying? No. When you stay on social media, the way you stay on social media Eventually, somebody going to talk about you. Eventually, you're going to catch the attention of somebody. And it don't make a difference whether to do 8 to 80, blind, cripple, or crazy. No age got nothing to do with it. Point blank. It's going to be talked about. Key in on that. Fool. Then on top of that, uh, the individual goes on to, say, talk about the prison stories. Then he talk about 16 to life, two white boys. And he don't know what that fool don't know what he talk about. 16 to life, a black dude. You don't know what he talking about. He just got his picks and chooses on what he choose to believe and not believe. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, <clears throat> let me tell y'all something. Man. The one thing I agree on, he said, 
The one thing I agree on that this clown said, y'all, was anytime you get an individual, whether he talking about street stuff or whether he talk about prison stuff or whether he talk about any type of uh, physical confrontation, whatever, if he tell you 20 stories and all 20 stories, he's victorious, he wins, y'all will admit he lying. You know what I'm saying? He pumping himself up to be something he's not. I will agree with that. But see, that don't have nothing to do with me, period. Those in the foundation, those who rock with me, y'all watch my stories. I got almost 200 stories out. So now here it is. Here's an individual that picked and chose a video to where I said I was victorious because I've been in, I've been victorious in a whole lot of my confrontations. A lot of them. I've also been on the losing end of a lot of them. But now, like I say, those in the foundation who rock with me, who know, y'all know my stories. Y'all know, y'all, y'all go down do my stories and y'all hear all the ones where I tell you I took an L, where I took a loss. But now here it is. You got this sucker butt individual jumping on there, making it seem like I only tell y'all about the ones I won. And y'all know that's a lie. And if the buster would take his time to look at more than one or two of my videos, he'll see that. But now he not going to do that because he don't want to do that because he's already made. Ha, he already has a preconceived notion in his mind that he don't like me, which I don't give a dang about, period. If he like me or not, bump him. But like I say, for those who do their homework and go through my y'all see, I tell you about the wins. I tell you about the losses. So like I say, I will agree. If you run across a person that tell you all the wins and don't tell you the losses, I uh, don't believe that. Don't rock with that one. But that's not me. You know what I'm saying? So he got to be talking about somebody else. That's what, The clown got to be talking about somebody else. He need to go do his goddamn homework. Anyway, now, now I'm going to tell y'all something. Y'all got these people that, that say they was in prison during this time and all this and that. Man, listen, when you find people like this who bitter, you know what I'm saying, about what other people talking about when it comes to this prison stuff, it's because when they was in prison, they was a victim themselves. You know what I'm saying? They not going to tell you that. They want to play it down, water it down, talk about <clears throat> all this other smooth stuff. That's because they was a victim when they was in there. You know what I'm saying? They was in there getting kicked in their behind. Now, of course, they're going to jump on here. Man, man, I don't know what he's talking about. Nobody did nothing to me. Ain't nobody. Listen how they talk. Listen how they talk. You know? Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Anyway. And just like uh, where I did where I did time at, they talk about uh, he was talking about some you you see how in the end he went off into a prison story. He talked about they people been asking him to do prison stories and he don't really want to do them. But now you see in the end he went off into a prison story, and then at the end they talk about the moral of the story. Man, miss me with that mess. But now when he went to talking about that uh, how dudes be. Standing up, uh, uh, masturbating off the female guards. Okay, where well, I did time at in uh, Alabama, they call that gunning. You know what I'm saying? And nine times out of ten, he talking about he wasn't with that. He didn't get out like that. Nine times out of ten, he did it too. He was one of them. Yeah, he was one of them. He was, you know, he was in a group of dudes standing next to each other, uh, doing that crazy stuff to the women. Yeah, you know. But anyway, so it ain't no thing. Um. That's 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 my take on this cat. You know what I'm saying? Anytime food don't know me from Adam's cat, y'all. You know, period. No nothing about me at all. At all. No nothing about what I did or didn't do in prison, what I have done or have not done on the streets, none of that. <clears throat> but anyway, like I say, those in the foundation who didn't watch some of my stories and not just watch one or two and try to take it and run with it because I remind them of somebody that was in prison kicking them in they behind. Y'all know what's up. Y'all know what's up, Foundation. Anyway, that was just a quick, that was just a quick one. Um, you know, like I say, I don't I don't really entertain what these fools be talking about. Especially, especially from a clown who put a video out 11, 12, 13 hours ago and don't have nothing but 108 views. They clout chasing. They looking for they looking for help. They looking for me to say their name. They looking for me to clap back 
so they can try to slide away, want to have a little internet war. Hopefully they can get some subs, some views. Man, miss me. I don't even, look, man, let me show you something. If I'm going to get into an internet beef with somebody, they're going to have to have at least two, 300,000 uh, subscribers to be even worth my time. I don't waste my time entertaining a studying with a fool with, with two, three uh, thousand, two, three hundred views. I mean, excuse me, subscribers talking about. They put out a video and a day later, they ain't even got four, they, they ain't even got 400 views. Man, I don't waste my time with them bums. Period. Let them say what they gonna say. Let them do what they gonna do. I could care less, man. Care less. Because literally, Whatever they say and whatever they feel, it does not register, period, to me at all. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if they can't go get nothing to eat tomorrow. I don't. But like I say, every now and then, I might give I might give one of the little YouTube bums uh, a little airtime. But like I say, I don't say no names. I ain't gonna say no names. But the person who the person who I'm talking about, they know who I'm talking about. They know what I'm talking about. So, uh, like I say, they can come back with a, a reaction, a rebuttal. I will never say nothing about you, period. I will never say your name. I will never say nothing about you. I won't even speak on this. No matter what type of video you put out, you could put out a video saying, uh, you seen cartoon running around with a horn on the top of his head. I don't care. So what? <laughs> so what? It don't it, it don't mean a hill of beans to me. It ain't gonna put no food on my plate. How you feel or what you say? Period. You sucker butts get on YouTube and lie on people every day. Every day. So who am I? Who am I for you not to get on here and tell some lies on? Or who am I for you not to get on here and try to uh start a little beef with? Cause you mad? Cause you upset? Man, please I'm gonna get the f out of here, you mark. Anyway. I'm out of here, y'all. A gang of don't bang. Avalon gangsters.